Everyone Good. consent? Consented. Great. Well, welcome back. It is not Grigio, guys, but the Coaster Club is here and we are getting spooky. Thank you for joining me around the uh, the camera here. We've got uh, we got Colin Delaney. What are you dressed as? I'm uh, writing a novel that I'll never finish. Oh. <laughs> and uh, there's RJ City looking like he just crawled outside of a sewer. Yeah, I'm your typical New York sewer rat. Hey, bub. <laughs> hey, do you, you know, know where I can catch the J train? <laughs> do you know Pizza Rat? Oh, yeah, he's a good friend of mine. I like Peter's myself. And Matt, off air, none of us could guess what the hell's going on here. Matt, we're not. Me, let's what? wait. Let's tell people some of the guesses. Well, you guessed. My first response was Manamana. <laughs> are you one of the kangaroos from Tank Girl? I also said Rum Tum Tugger. No. No, these are these are all incorrect. I, I would think more of of something that that binds us all together. Oh, are you Teddy Ruxpin? Ooh, that's now now I kind of want to change my answer, but no, that wasn't the original. You are know, you homemade costume is up to a lot of interpretation. Duck tape. Closer to home. Well, closer to home again. I will go back to Ben Vereen as Mayor Ben in Zubilee Zoo. Oh, oh, it, are you Keith Hot? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. Bear cat. To, oh. I'm so happy you got that. Oh, I wanted to be the oh, coolest, guy, the coolest my God. man I knew. And Why a big shout wearing... out to the original bear cat, Keith Hot. That's right. Why, Why are you wearing? Why are you wearing sunglasses? I just thought it made. In my mind, <laughs> Keith is like so cool. Like I can't even. It, it, this is all I could think of when I thought of Keith. You know what I mean? Oh like man, I miss him. What an adorable little fuzzy guy. Well, here this is, is here is to Keith. Uh, God Here's may God Keith. rest his soul. Well, and I am Dalton Castle. Oh, I am a spaceman, and I'm drinking a spooky drink with eyeballs in it. Do you guys Ooh. want to tell me what you're drinking? Oh, those are grapes. Shut those your mouth, you fuzzy I'll, little I'll fuck. Tequila soda. I'm trying to keep my Keith Keith hot figure all in check here. So I, I bought this wine specifically. I always try and buy some whatever the weirdest wine I can find for these things. This one is called Whoop Whoop. It is Australian. And there's a whole story on the back. Hold on, ready? Whoop Whoop wine was founded around a BBQ by three mates amongst our vines, a glass or two in hand, and just in time to crack the first vintage of the millennium. Whoop Whoop. Thank you, Colin, for bringing that fine international product to the show and i being the only one who has a branded liquid i'm drinking high anxiety uh <laughs> the coffee to worry about and it is delightful you can get it now at rootlesscoffee.com i didn't know we were showing off products of ours i'm just going to use this oh, to wipe my mouth <laughs> now i have a question about that is that this well actually the same size as the old wrestling buddies 22 inches. That is that the same size as the old ones? I don't know. So I um, I'm going to put in my expertise here wait, and say that wait, those first, are what are you drinking? The, please, I'm in the middle of something. Those are close. Yeah, I said it. You're you're ruining everything. Uh, I'm in space. The, I can't hear things. The w, you know, space stresses me out. So I don't like it. I didn't like it when I saw it. I hated when you put the the helmet on. I hated the whole thing. Back to me. <laughs> Uh, those are closer to probably the WCW ones than right. the WF one. Remember the WCW yeah. ones were thinner and yes. he's gone. He's gone into space. That's why less padding. Those. There was less. I had a Ric Flair one and I never touched it. <laughs> Pristine condition. <laughs> I had a uh, Macho Man Randy Savage one myself. Mm. Uh, may oh, I say important. also Dalton? Oh, look, there's a cat. Never mind the spaceman. There's a cat. <laughs> I'm back from space. I heard there's a cat. Colin, he's what's the muse. name? What's the name of your novel? Uh, it's uh, currently untitled. Yeah. And it's uh, like, a, do you have a set genre yet? Not really. It's probably <laughs> maybe a sci-fi drama comedy. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's undecided. It's, it's up in the air. Surely, surely to entice everyone, you can give us the opening sentence. <clears throat> 
No, I can't. <laughs> no, I can't. The main character starts off in defiance. <laughs> well done, Colin. So I've I've never worn glasses in my life, and wearing them with a ring light going is really messing me up, but I'm going to keep them on for effect. The professional technique is to have no lenses in your glasses. Oh, I should have taken the stupid lenses out. Yeah. Smart. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I don't have a visor on this. <laughs> so... <laughs> I know so really you're, a guy who doesn't care about space that much. So you're dead. So you're dead. Yeah, it's just really to protect my head from hitting things. <laughs> I don't need to breathe. You're not even an a astronaut. You're a guy who won the trip to space camp on Legends of the Hidden Temple. <laughs> I'm going to Alabama. <laughs> okay, so since it is a Halloween time, uh, I thought we could share some memories of our, our childhood or our past Halloweens since obviously we're all doing it right right now. But do, do you guys remember ever like going to an actual Halloween party as a kid? Yes. I mean, as a kid, I don't think you went to Halloween parties till you were in uh, high school, college age. Oh, as a kid, that's trick or treating time. What would be the first one you went to then? I, the first one that comes to mind is like in my 20s. I've, there's like trick or treating and then age of mischief and then party <laughs> time, right? <laughs> That's the basic timeline of people's Halloween development. What's the, what's the scale for age of mischief? That's like when you're too old to trick or treat, but you still kind of do it. You more just are kind of getting in trouble running around with your friends. That's anywhere from 13. Some people stretch that out to like 17. I mean, well, crazy. Colin was crazy. trick or treating at 17. I think I trick or treated till at least 20. <laughs> I'm a big no, fan you're... of candy, y'all. Big fan of candy. I went to a Halloween party as a child, and it did not go off so well. What well, what happened? It was down the so. street. The kids, we had neighborhood kids. The mother thought, let's have a big Halloween party. It'll be fun. So we all came over and hung out in the unfinished basement. And we did the old, uh, oh, close your eyes, put your hand in this. And it's, oh, it's eyes. Yes. Oh, it's brains. And Eyeballs. then she said, and now we're going to watch a scary movie. I got it uh, at Blockbuster. I've never seen it before. It's Sleepy Hollow starring Jeff Goldblum, which if you've seen before, you'll realize is a romantic comedy with gothic themes. <laughs> and the whole movie, he's Ichabod Crane, but he's also like a choir teacher. So it's a, just a solid 40 minutes of him teaching vocal exercises to women. And it was one of the worst movies as a child I had ever seen. What, what age are we talking about here? Uh, I must have been eight, six to eight. <laughs> I, and I'm watching him go, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm jumping. fairly positive that was the plot to a Halloween episode of Home Improvement. <laughs> fairly positive. Where they watch That's Jeff Goldblum movie? Was not was not RJ's life. Every time RJ tells a story, I'm like, that was definitely a '90s sitcom. I swear to God. Do you remember what about RJ that people don't know? Is he's agoraphobic and episodes? hasn't left the house. Yes, I'm certainly not going to space. That's why nobody's <laughs> ever seen him wrestle. <laughs> but who wrestles anymore? Do you remember my <laughs> career got steadily better when I actively stopped wrestling? So let's not pretend that. The wrestling system is a, a functional one, okay? It's not me. I can headlock with the best of them. You want to see a hammerlock? I can figure out how to do that too. So we used to we what used to as... like? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's better with All right, what about pumpkin carving? Nice. When's the last time you guys carved a pumpkin? A gourd of any type. I cut up a zucchini not too long ago. I don't think that counts though. Last year. Really? What'd you make? Uh, the alien from Toy Story. Oh, I, I was told a technique that you carve the out of the bottom of the pumpkin instead of the top. Because that way you can you wear it on your head. When you <laughs> when you carve it, you can hold on to the handle. It gives you better carving mobility. This is what I heard. I'm looking to use the technique this year. Haven't done it yet. Lazy. Wow. We thought Dalton was living in the future with his uh, space outfit, but it turns out Taven is living in 2050 with these pumpkin carving techniques. That's gonna change I'm my in life. Hell in this costume, is what I'm in. I want to put a I want to put a cassette tape in your back and have you tell me a story. 
<laughs> yeah, I am giving it a little Teddy Ruxpin vibes here. <laughs> For sure. Hey, guys, I, I this is an improvement to my costume, or does it make it less spacey? It looks like you got uh, in a car accident, and you're really working that insurance claim. I feel like I look like... <laughs> I feel like I look like Ernest trying to sneak out of jail. Can we talk about how handsome Jim Varney is and how he's been underappreciated as a person and performer for decades now? Well, since we've only got like a an hour limit on this, I, I don't think we should go down that road. Okay. Fair enough. So it's okay. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he just gave up. He's like, yeah, you're right. Never mind. Jim Varney's not that, not that underappreciated. Honest, honest story. When I... I saw Ernest scared stupid for a long time. I was afraid to go into my parents' basement because mm. I thought that troll was going to be down there. And I was like too old to be afraid of the dark at that age. I have, you know, a consistent fear of the Phantom of the Opera because he would just show up like wherever it was dark or if there was a mirror, like the man was there. So then you learn to fear when there's nothing to fear, because it's like, that's when he's going to show up. He's not going to show up when I'm afraid. So if I'm afraid year, all the time, he won't be there. Last year's Halloween special was a, a, a real nightmare for you. Oh, <laughs> hey, oh RJ. Again. Are you oh. ready to give yourself to the music of the night? Oh, my God. What's with that weird strap on the other side? I'm a real big fan of Ernest, fan. and I've never actually seen any Ernest movie. I think it's just the fact that he's made so many. I respect that. Oh, my God. You're I've a, a quantity of kind of guy, Matt. I mean, put him in any scenario, and it's a winner. I hear. I don't want to yeah. see it. I don't want to ruin it in my mind, but I well, hear it's a winner every time. You like whatever musician has the most albums? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. The fact that people just keep making them towards the end, it's like, <laughs> I, I dig this. Play your new stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's something you never hear at a concert. Colin looks like Colin is dressed like the guy at a party who will tell you facts about the Beatles that you do not care to know. Yeah, you want You guys want to see my album collection? <laughs> what? Oh, is Colin is dressed as the embodiment of well, actually. <laughs> <laughs> do you like that the hat just just grazes off the back of my head? Like that's it. a thing. Like it's doing anything. Is it a toque? It is a yarmulke? We have no idea. We're unsure. We're unsure. Yeah. I'm, I'm never going to finish this novel, but I'm going to talk about it a lot. <laughs> it's like he got <laughs> dressed up to take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> and what's have the you background? ever had... I like it. I'm just wondering. It's Walt, it's Walt Disney World, isn't it? Oh, I've been. Okay. Look at you. Huh? <laughs> yeah, That's that so castle angry. is very nondescript. <laughs> I couldn't see it. He's had su he's got such broad shoulders. Couldn't see it this whole time. What's uh what's behind you, Taven? What is that? Is that Neptune? Is that Mars? What is that? Uh, over oh, here. Oh, it's Earth. It's Africa, uh, right here. Oh my God, uh, Taven! Please America. name the continents. <laughs> <laughs> That's the game later. Just yes. me naming the stuff on the wall. Yep. <laughs> Show me where Chile would be. <laughs> There we go. Oh, well done. Nailed it. And I, I didn't even look. I'm looking at my own screen. Like a like weatherman. Weather, like a real weatherman. <laughs> I, what, that could be my second uh, act. Second act, Matt Taven as a weatherman. Oh, time out. I can see it. Yeah. Matt being a weatherman? I can yeah. point. Very good. Well, good you had the successful travel vlog. Oh, Imagine well, how know, efficient he would be. Because you're bullying, I uh, <laughs> lost all... All confidence in my travel blog. Thanks well, a lot. I, I liked it, and I mentioned it every time I was not on it. Well, yeah, Matt, then you were you, like, uh, I thought that was the song. Travel, David. Travel, David. Uh, yeah, honestly, yeah, I'm gonna bring it back just for that to be the theme song. I'll have you <laughs> yes. just sing it, and that'll be the. Here's, here's a question that I have: To be a meteorologist, do you have to get? go to school just like does every meteorologist basically go to school to be on tv or do you go to broadcasting school what's the school thing here Someone weather is it. very complicated like could i you will be a say could you go to broadcasting school without being going to meteorology school that's a word yes 
And because be back in the day, weathermen, there, there's a lot of comedians like David Letterman, for example, was a, a local weatherman. They want a little wacky guy to just basically read a teleprompter. And okay. then we got a little weather intense with the Weather Channel and so on and so forth. And then there became a greater need for the meteorologist on camera to give you the depth, you know, just so because you can no tell me more... if it's raining in Spokane, you know, I want to know more. Right. I went to broadcast school and uh, one of the classes, they forced us to do the weather in a, on a fake news show that we would produce every week. And that was the one element that I was terrible because I can't read off a prompter mm. or read. I, I was going to say. <laughs> before prompter uh i don't know if it's just the whoop whoop hitting me but <laughs> dalton's head looks like it's really float you you look like uh an old lego uh the lego head that you would put like a like a god the medieval like knight of lego yeah, yeah, head yeah. man yeah all right haunted houses or hay rides oh no rj's frozen rj's frozen or this could be a typical rj act here this could be a bit no he hasn't he needs to talk <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh RJ3 God. left and said, "Wow, what did you guys say? What did you do to him?" I was Is giving this him a well, hard time about travel Taven? He took it too seriously. And you, all right, welcome back. We had to take a little break because RJ lost his uh, signal. And uh, before you guys all joined back in, I I just like to say it was very um, sad the image of me sitting on a Zoom call alone dressed as a spaceman waiting for friends to show up. It's very major Tom. When do you plan on putting this out? Out of curiosity. Is I don't know, like five a, days, whenever I five edit Five days? It? Oh, yeah. okay, so I can say this. I'm gonna be in Nashville tomorrow night. Oh no, this is live. Uh, oh, well, I've seen it. Oh no, oh no. I was just thinking, I don't know, maybe we could meet up and you know, sit on the couch and do nothing. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Do you want to paint? Let's paint. Let's do you paint. know anyone? Do you know anyone who knows how to paint? No, yeah, but I have paint. The spaceman. Oh, Am that's not true. Man? We know David Arquette. He's a very good painter. He doesn't know how to paint. He knows how to fucking draw mountains and trees, and that's it. Hold on. Yeah. Bob Ross style? Yeah. He's a certified Bob Ross. He took something in like clear water for two weeks or some shit. That's a Scientology <laughs> camp, actually. That wasn't. Yes. He came back enlightened, but also he had a rash, too. You have uh, got to stop downplaying it. He's a very good artist. I've watched him you, paint a lot of things. You've only done it with him a couple times. I've done it with him enough now where I'm just like mountains and trees, right? And he's like, no, Yo. but I've been in his house and I've seen other things that he's done. Do you How remember often when he drew that are all you me? guys painting together? Yeah, yeah. Let's get a What let's is get a happening? Scope here. Yeah. Okay. Together, not often. It happened one time in Malibu at in David's apartment. That's what you guys did in Malibu was paint. Well, David and I painted, and RJ sat and uh, judged I ate us. Snacks around the house. He nervously yes, I... ate. RJ we'll swim with a sea turtle. Yes. yes RJ, um... did David paint that mustache on you? <laughs> yes, digitally though, like how you sign a UPS package. <laughs> nice. Um, I have a bet. question for Matt and Colin. Okay. How does it feel to not ever have been on Family Feud? <laughs> <laughs> you know how many people reached out to me asking me if I was okay? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, why aren't you on it? What happened? Like so many Why people reached out, know? especially like my friends I grew up with that know how much I love Family Feud. So many people reach out and were like, dude, are you like, yeah. So, I mean, how are you feeling about Dalton being on Family Feud? I was like, I'm so happy for him. Yeah. Matt is and so unique. He's the only guy who ever liked Family Feud. And if I can, <laughs> if I can, real quick, not only did you guys go on Family Feud without me, but you got the guy who did my gimmick on Impact to replace me. <laughs> well, listen, was an homage Colin was one of my favorite wrestlers ever. I love Tarzan Colin. <laughs> That's fine. I'm doing his gimmick now. I'm pretty Colin. You look like you're dressed like Drew Carey. Avalon. Hey, can we also talk about how great Drew was? Drew Carey? Yeah. Let's yeah, not talk about a... that. I heard that Pee Wee didn't like Dalton. Is that true? 
I think he didn't. I'm pretty sure he didn't like me. I thought RJ, you would have put in a good word for him. What's up? Well, I did, and he doesn't like me either. So by proxy, <laughs> he didn't like. Yes. Um, yeah. It's not like we were in the best company. We, we were uh, friends of David's, and he's not yeah. like the best ambassador for us. Why? Because he saw your paintings? No. Now, if they would have seen our paintings, then they would have been friends of ours. <laughs> Is that what you guys should have answered Steve's question? And, and Dalton, it says here that you also like painting with your friends. And then you could have been like, yes, in Malibu, we get together and paint. That's how we spend our time in Malibu, which is insane. You should have done that Mecca like a high uh, bit. I didn't have the helmet yet. I just uh, made this today. Uh, you made that? Well, I made the I made the helmet a lot long time ago because I was playing with foam. And then today I decided to spray paint it so I could look like that. You have so much free time on your hands. It I don't understand it. I'm busy. What are you talking about? I, your whole busy gimmick is oh, the crazy. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> I understand it now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it makes sense. I, I oh, know. Hold on, hold on. That's hold on. so I, good. I made this a while ago while I was messing around with foam. <laughs> I wish, just the ones, I would be like, you know what, I'm gonna mess around with foam today. What are you doing today? I don't know, messing around with foam? What else is there to do? I've got many helpers. He's not look the only the, one I've got. Look at the breasts on that thing. <laughs> no, <laughs> right? When did he oh get, those are at least a C. I and challenge like, you to a find corset. a bustier man than this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> It's like very Victorian era. Yeah, it six. looks instead of a zipper, that looks like a a girdle, like yes, sewn up. It, the... it looks so, like it laces. I got the busy thing, but now I like. Why are they? Ooh, why do they all butt. wear? Why do they all wear white V necks? Because they're busy too busy to find a better outfit. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh uh, no, that started because like the outfit I was wearing on the on day one, I just wanted them to look like miniature versions of me. Mm -hmm. And then you changed, and then you were like, don't bother. <laughs> and you were like, no, 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 that's for me. And then, like, for Matt's gimmick, like, like what is the deal? <laughs> <laughs> what are you, Keith like, what are you not like, doing? I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Just I know it's one day closer to the end. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's uh, funny as I'm dressed as a spaceman, but Colin wrestles on a team for, to infinity and beyond. Yeah. So are you That's a right. spaceman? Yeah. We're, we're swapping roles today. I'm busy. I'm going to go mess around with foam and pour some paints later in Malibu. I hope you get good at it. I could use a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, are you sure you don't have that on backwards? It keeps closing in on your face. Is that for your dog? Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> this is Gryffindor's <laughs> costume. <laughs> You asked for a costume last minute. Come on, man. This is good. And this I'll is... be taking this. You, you're yeah. already wearing the vest. Griff had no idea what was going on. He, I don't know. You probably noticed he was like underneath me the whole time. I think he was like, dude, what is up? Why do you have my costume? And I was like, shh, pipe down, pipe down. This is mine now. The bigger question is, uh, in short time, RJ, where did you get your Raccoon Mario costume? I have friends who have hoodies they like video games and they like this casually and, not a raccoon uh, it's a, yeah it's a, it's a yeah it's a it's a sudoku a sudoku it's, don't do it's a sudoku it's a puzzle it's a, it's a math puzzle yeah it's it's a and math. luckily i had my own eyebrow pencil oh <laughs> that's the secret hey do you guys want to play a game no yeah too bad we got time to fill the tale of the lonely ghost <laughs> oh it's funny you say that because today we are playing are you, are you afraid, afraid of the plot no what no wait the same one we played a year ago so bad at this the rules have changed a little <laughs> i don't think okay you'll go i thought one i was clever time. making a callback to an obscure game we played a year ago and it turns out this is our reality it turns out Dalton was like, shit, what are we going to do? Hold on. What did we do a year ago? Do it again. Do it again. It's <laughs> Wait, work. Reverse Same questions. It. Let's I've just see if you remember. i modifications to the format. <laughs> All right. So the rules are different. I will give you the name of the episode and the season it's in, and you have to give me a synopsis of what you think the plot is. 
I think this is how I was playing last time. No, no, no. no. I would give you the plot and you gave me the title last time. But I think I just would give you back plots. I don't think I ever, I don't know what was happening. He's tailoring it to your likes now. He's yeah, catering it to your instincts. It's just going to confuse me because now I'm going to try to do it the other way and I can't even see with this costume on. Well, Matt, just answer it like a dog. My dog doesn't even bark that much. And so, uh, oh, hold on, Griff. Uh, if he can bark on command, I'll lose it. But he, oh, he screw your doesn't dog. bark that, that much. But every once in a while, I think he forgets he can bark. So he goes, roof. And that joke is only funny to me and my fiance so i'll just he's a, i'll he's stop a talking man, about my dog he's now. a man pretending to be a dog <laughs> uh, 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 shit. Yeah. what do they say uh, so, let's play this game <laughs> <clears throat> okay when when you are when you have the answer make sure you buzz in with your best griff bark impression <laughs> all right no we'll go around the the room we'll start with colin since he's an all-star Colin, would you like an episode from season four or season three? Three. All right, this is from uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark? Season three. Hopefully it's an easy one. The title is The Tale of the Midnight Ride. Oh, um, it's the one, ah, uh, man. There's a taxi involved. So they go into the woods and... Uh, I think they're lost, but they find a taxi randomly in the woods. Mm. And then the taxi, uh, I can't remember the, the ending. Uh, I think so this I'll, was the only episode I remembered last time we played the game. It's fine. I'll make it up. So the taxi <laughs> takes them and then uh -huh. the taxi crashes into a tree, but then they're alive and they're like, oh my God, what happened? And then they're like, the a taxi crashed here sometime. And then they're like, what? No, that's not it. <laughs> Midnight Ride wasn't that one? No. I'm pretty sure the one I'm thinking of is not this episode, but is that the one with the riddle in the taxi? That's the same episode that Colin's talking about. Uh, Colin, I will give you half a point if you can say the riddle and make it so Matt can answer it. Mm. Oh, shit. It is the riddle one. How about I give you the riddle? Wait, but... hold on to it. Hold on to it. Okay. Let's get the answer. The real answer to the tale of the Midnight Ride as Ian Matthews arrives in the legendary town of Sleepy Hollow. Ah. Goldblum. Where he meets a new girlfriend mm -hmm. and the tough guy, the notorious Headless Horseman. All right. And now for your half a point, Matthew. What uh, can you see with the naked eye? And if you put in a barrel, it will make it lighter. Can, uh, can I defer my answer and ask for RJ to answer it? But in uh, Canadian, Are You Afraid of the Dark, actor Cadence. Okay, so I'm in the cab <clears throat> and he's gonna <laughs> die. And he's like, you gotta get the riddle, we're all gonna crash. And I'm like, oh, okay. Oh boy, I guess we're gonna crash then. Well, well, we'll die, but at least the government will take care of it. Wait a minute, a hole, a hole. <clears throat> Uh, when was the ghost of Norm Macdonald in that cab? Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, you know, we're going to crash. So. <laughs> RJ, your, your Canadian child actor chops are a little rusty. I think. And I was one. <laughs> if I can, if I can real quick, it would be like. Because oh, you left. Oh, I, I got it. I got it. A hole. A hole. <laughs> That's why this guy can still go trick or treating. That's why. That's Colin Delaney, kid for life. <laughs> have a Milky Way bar, please. Like that's <laughs> Colin is probably aces. Yep, can't tell. Matthew, season three or season four? Oh, I'm gonna have to go with an earlier one, even though I don't remember the last season three episode at all. But I'm gonna have to go season three. <laughs> oh, I'll give you the easy one. All right. The tale of the phone police. The phone police? Yep. The classic tale of the phone police is when a kid is making prank calls all night. He's doing funny stuff. He's ordering pizzas to his friend's house. He's, 
uh, ordering pizzas to his friend's house. And uh, then all of a sudden they catch on to him. He starts getting phone calls back and he's like, who's this? Who's this? And then he is, gets all freaked out and he goes to the cops and the cops are like, the calls are coming from inside the house. And then he kills the babysitter, something like that, I think is it. I, I feel like you were mixing a, an episode and an episode of uh, Nancy Grace. That's what I watch on Halloween. I watch all Nancy Grace episodes. So it's, it's kind of the season. Why do people keep sending pizza to my house? Coming up <laughs> on Nancy Grace. <laughs> Colin or RJ, you guys want the to The pizza that? is going bad on my front porch tonight. I am not answering another delivery of pizza to my house on Nancy Grace. It's the one where uh, the kid was, yeah, he, Taven, Taven was pretty close. He, the, the kid was making prank calls. And then someone's like, if you keep making prank phone calls, the phone police are going to get you. And then the phone police literally get him. <laughs> it's terrifying. Yeah, so he was half right. Is that right. how it ends? Yeah. No, they you lock him. That? They lock him in a prison cell. And then like, there's a payphone in there, but it only gets incoming calls. Mm. And he gets an incoming call from a mythical kid who got arrested by the phone police in the legendary tale. Oh, and that's wow. all I remember. Because <clears throat> my grandmother always used to say like, hey, you know, there was a kid who had his hand out the window while we were driving and a truck came by and took off his arm. Or the kid got his head stuck in a fence or a kid lost his leg on an escalator because he didn't tie his shoe. And I always remember saying like, was this the same kid? <laughs> this kid was mangled. <laughs> yeah. Was this the same episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark? You know, when you watch something scary, when you're a little kid, it sticks with you forever. Like you get a glimpse of like a scary, I have a, I'd have no idea what this movie is, but a lady fell on an escalator and her necklace got caught in the thing when it hit the top and choked her to death. I saw that when I was like four years old, I am terrified of the end of escalators still to this day. Not terrified, but I, I, I that was I'm cautious. Autumn in New York with Richard Gere. Oh, is that, I'll have to give <laughs> yeah. that a watch. I think that's it. That's <clears throat> Listen, my friend, we were very, very young. We were at his house, and I think he was having, like, a family party. And it, he said, we were so young that we had no concept that he said, you dare me to call 911 and hang up. So I'm like, sure. <laughs> he did, oh and God. he hung up. And, like, of course, like, we're too young to even understand that they call you back. Right? No. See, and obviously they picked you? up and they were like, there's words to ambulance did anyone. And that, you know, the dad's like, no. And of course, like the dad just lost it on him. And he's like, you know, you don't understand like there's emergencies and blah, blah, blah. And like a, a woman, an old woman could be dying. And then like the way he presented it made it feel like we killed somebody. <laughs> and I just, I'm talking I about... just remember like, whoa. We used to call like hooked on phonics because they'd have the number on the commercial, like all yeah, those Jenny no, Craig, not calling nine one one. I'm not the one who didn't, and I didn't start the dare. I just want to make that clear. And then is, another that... time, I had the reverse Colin talent. I could make myself sound a lot older, so I called my friend's mother in grade school, maybe grade four, pretending to be the father of another student at the school, saying your son made fun of my son. <laughs> and I had the mother on the phone for like 20, 30 minutes. And she got very upset. And uh, she was like, not my son. And, you know, after 20 minutes, I was like, hey, just joking. It's RJ. Gotcha. And <laughs> she just she lost it. And then also got my father on the phone and yelled at him. Like, that's how young I was. It was like I couldn't be held responsible. It was the bad parenting. This is not... also an episode of Home Improvement. For sure. <laughs> Uh, kids in high school also used to pay me to call into the office as their parents and say, like, I don't know, Michael can't come to this class. He's a doctor's appointment. And How many was... whiny, nasally parents kids? Yeah. What, can you give me Hello. your call in? Give, give me the exact call in. Give me the voice. I need now, to hear this. I did a lot of, like, uh, hey, this is uh, Matt Taven's father, Brian Taven. And uh, just want to <laughs> let you know that uh, he can't come into fifth period tonight because he has a uh, dentist appointment. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> Pretty good. Not bad. Yeah. Old, good old Brian Taven. <laughs> <laughs> Brian but Taven it, just got me out. But we've all seen Ferris Bueller's Day Off. You're not getting away with this story, RJ. No. Nope. <laughs> Buying it. Yeah. And then I, I also left the Red Wings. <laughs> <laughs>
You are the cable guy. I, yeah. <laughs> you learn the facts of life. You know what's even worse? I was going to make the same joke, but say I am the embodiment of Stay Tuned, the John Ritter film. Oh, That's I thought that was pure. remote control. No. That was Stay Tuned? That's yes, when they go tuned. in there in all these different channels, yes. right? Music yes. videos. And Eugene Levy is the devil's assistant. <laughs> All right, RJ. I want epi- I want season four. Season four. Okay, yeah. this one's a good one. Um, mm. Ah. Mm. Good. All right, six or eleven. Pick that. Mm. Six or eleven. I'm you just wiped your mustache it. right off. Mm, let me see. Six or eleven. <laughs> see, now it just looks like I haven't. It was RJ the whole time. <laughs> you look so um, much younger. Give me eleven. The Tale of the Closet Keepers. Oh. It's, uh... This one was a creepy one. Department store? A ah. back room of a department store? Okay. And then and what? And the girl's working, and then I don't go back there. They have a lot of sho- shoes, oddly sized shoes, and weird things that happen. Yep. Taven's saying there's something with a map. They're holding their waiters <laughs> who have hors d'oeuvres. I think hey, he's no, I was trying to show. act out the what you were saying. Don't go back there. They got weird oh, I, shoes. I thought you were trying to give me clues. No, no, I'm useless. <laughs> no, this is uh, there's a guy who has eyeballs in his mouth. Um, closet keepers. Aww. There's a boy who's afraid that there's a monster in the closet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And no. no, all wrong, all wrong. Oh, all right. Well, those those are both my guesses. No, the monster's under his bed, and then when the sunlight comes, the monster falls out of all of his clothes. And then that monster is also like really scared of germs and now, shaves that's his a story, head later. That's a story RJ told me that happened to him when he was eight. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what if I give you the clue that aliens are involved? That was little monsters. Uh, so there's a department store, and this woman's works there, and they're like, don't go back there, there's aliens. We're not in a department store. The closet, they are imposters, aliens come to Earth, and they're like imposters pretending to be humans. It's like a pod people kind of thing. You have a, Ooh. And no. in the aliens closet, are in the they closet. keep like the pod, the real person, like they capture them. Yes. And then the closet, what? And, and then the they come, opens. they like, yes. They go through the, the closet. closet. Yes. And then... And then what happened? <laughs> I'm and listening. Caught and captured and put on display in a zoo. No, they just put like three Twilight Zone episodes together. I don't remember that at all. I am I have no idea. I'm still at there. Aliens are in the closet and then they do something and I lost you after that. The and we're in a says, department store. Yeah, is there a department store? <laughs> Aliens kidnap several youngsters from Earth to put on display in their zoo. Huh. They, it the was end, years of therapy. At the end, the girl who like frees all the kids, they walk over and they go to a map, not, not unlike the one on Matthew's wall, and they say, where are you from? And then they would just point at it and she pushed the big button and then they'd go back to their home. Oh, wow. <clears throat> I have no recollection. You know what? I think a year later, now having played this game twice, I think it's fair to say we've only seen maybe two or three episodes of Are You Afraid of the Dark? You know, last year after this, I went and watched Are You Afraid of the Dark episodes to realize how many I, I had no idea about. But I, I remember all the episodes. We are just terrible at, at remembering them. But I also think we're doing seasons three and four. One and right. two is our is our ballpark here. Red and butter. Yeah. We, didn't, we didn't get to three, obviously. Mm. Maybe some of us did. Why I guess they started doing plots with the actual Midnight Society. That's when I started checking out. I'm going to say the name of one. And if you know it, uh, buzz in like Matt would bark as a dog. And then- oh, yes. All right. The Tale of the Curious Camera. A roof. Oh, I know it. A roof. No, no, no. Colin, a roof first. Shit. Shit. It's, uh, it's Are You Afraid of the Dark's version of uh, Say Cheese and Die from Goosebumps, right? It's like the same concept. The, the camera takes pictures of uh, bad things that are going to happen to the person uh, later. Yes. Does everybody uh, remember this so, episode? F- fun fact. Fun fact. Uh, Ryan. Is it Gosling? Ryan Gosling? 
Yes. Ryan Gosling's in the Goosebumps one uh, of the same thing, but there's uh, the bully actor is the same in the Goosebumps and the Are You Afraid of the Dark? Oh, they wow. didn't have to explain Whoa. the plot to him, so they saved a lot of money. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> they just plug and played that kid. You're yeah. right, Colin. That was fun. Oh, wow. You're welcome. So, uh, okay. RJ barked like uh, Billy Crystal doing a, a roof. Uh, <laughs> uh, a roof. A roof. Hello. <laughs> okay, ready? The Tale of the Doll Maker. Uh, I'm the worst. <clears throat> I'm getting nothing. You're supposed to end that ah uh, with roof, RJ. Uh, <laughs> roof. Uh, roof. What if we just did it like oh? Has anyone no, done that? No. Is that still like everybody's doing that, right? <laughs> Last <laughs> wrestling show I went to, everyone's like ar, 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 ar. Could you imagine being a comedian and the one thing you needed to do to break was just start barking at everyone in the crowd? No, it was a boom <laughs> period. It was the real golden era of comedy. <laughs> it was the real golden era of giving network deals to people who shouldn't have them. Nobody knows what the doll maker episode is, Dalton. Sorry, Dalton, do you have something in the oven? <laughs> I thought this costume needed gloves. And like, I don't know if I did a good job. Was it from that time you were busy and you decided to work with tinfoil? It looks like you just oh. ran a marathon. I was testing the tinfoil for something later down the line. I've got a big project lined up. You'll got see. Got a lot of sweet potatoes. <laughs> I got a casserole to get to. I've got a lot of sweet potatoes. <laughs> All right, I will. Uh, I will give you a hint if I say that there's a house with a door that leads to nowhere. The door the to nowhere. House. Oh, it's uh, the. They're in the dollhouse, right? They're in the dollhouse. This yeah. is also a Twilight Zone. This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> no one said. No one said these were all original ideas that bullshit. are your friend dark had. Why did the show exist? This actually was a disturbing episode for me. Okay, a girl goes to visit her friend in the country, but learns yeah. she has mysteriously disappeared. She soon discovers that the door in the attic that goes outside mm. sometimes leads to a portal, which is in the dollhouse. I remember when this. She goes in there. She ties a rope around her waist, you know, like- uh, like, like poltergeist. Poltergeist, yeah. And then when she finds her friend who's transforming into a porcelain doll, that girl's hand falls off. And instead of like fixed, she just, oh, don't worry. And just puts it in the, in her dress pocket. And then when they come out, her hand was fine, reattached and everything. Like, this is a question I've been asking for years. This is good material. I got to put this in my novel. <laughs> I hope you finish it someday. Never will. Uh, so what uh, were you, you worried about? You're worried about that they didn't sew it back on? You don't think going back through the portal just re reanimates you? Is that what happens? I don't know. I don't know I don't anything know about portals. Is this a Twilight episode? Do you have an answer, RJ? Is Twilight this... Zone. Twilight Zone. No, just Twilight. Did they do this in Twilight? <laughs> Moon? You know, the best part about Twilight Zone is like shit would happen, and then you would have Rod Serling would just come out and smoke a cigarette and explain everything. Mm. No way. The best thing about Twilight Zone is when they had rough sex. <laughs> and the bed was a rockin'. That's also Twilight, isn't it? No. Yeah, when they had sex with a wolf. When they're in the zone. I've never seen a Twilight, for the record. Um, when they have sex in Twilight, it's called the Twilight Zone. Taylor so, Lofner, is that that guy's name? Was the house a dollhouse of, of the actual house? I think so. Like a miniature, you mean? Yeah. We call yes. them miniatures. <laughs> In the, in the business. In the biz. We call that a miniature. Honestly, I think would be a useful thing to have around the house. Like when you're thinking about rearranging a room, wouldn't it be good to just do a practice run on mm -hmm. like tiny furniture first? What if That's a great idea. But now here. you have to buy all the little furniture like you're making, um, what's the, a Beetlejuice set. Yeah, you're right. Next time I love with foam. Think about it. What do you think I'm working on? I'm going to save love... so much time staring at a space where you want to put something and trying really hard to imagine it there. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, if the table goes in the corner. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fellas, we are down to the last final minutes here. Uh, thank you for joining me for another spooky fest with the Coaster Club. Oh, one thing I wanted to try now that we have oh. 90 seconds left. Everybody make up a new catchphrase for yourself as we go around. I will say, uh, smile, you son of a bitch. Matt? I'd say it's uh, one day closer to the end. 
RJ. We're going to the market because the quiche is hot, baby. And Collins. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I think that's taken, but yeah. I like it. Oh, all right. All right. This is the Coaster Club. We will be back uh, with a brand new episode in 363 days. Oh. Probably. Probably take that long. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, guys. All right. Where's the car? Yeah.